You're an actor. No, seriously. You're an actor. Whether you think of yourself as an actor, whether you've had any professional training, you're an actor. So act like one. I'll explain more in a second. We were acting. <laughs> How you doing, everybody? Andrew Scott, and you are back at Booth Camp. So I had a discussion with a fellow VO compatriot of mine and a friend of mine, and um, it was kind of interesting. So my buddy Seth and I were talking the other day, and he was out with some people, and somebody asked him what he did, and he said, you know, I'm a voice actor. And they said, well, have you done anything that I might have heard? And, you know, he ran down a list of some of the things that he's done in the past and some of the things that he's currently working on and responsible for and all that. You know, he'd said that he was taking a little bit of a break away from voice acting to focus on his day job, but that he was a voice actor. And the person that he was talking to scoffed at him and said, that's not really acting. Okay, this is going to be kind of a short video for me, but that made me really cranky. If you're delivering lines that aren't your own words, and you are tasked with getting the listener to affiliate with what you're saying, you are an actor. Capital A, actor. Doesn't matter if the words coming out of your mouth are Shakespeare. Doesn't matter. You're being given a task. And that task is to get somebody to either intellectually or emotionally affiliate with what you're saying. Not necessarily even you. Because, for the most part, as voiceover workers, the you doesn't get involved. You know, for the most part, we're not on camera for our primary work. I'm an exception in this instance. But that's a real skill that takes real talent and real practice to get right. And this has been kind of a long-running battle. Is there a difference between voiceover and voice acting? Now, on one hand, as I just said, I don't believe there is. On the other hand, there kind of is, but it's more a matter of degree than it is A, B. If you're selling something, your job is to get somebody interested in what's for sale or excited. If you're reading the news, the task is to get somebody to listen to you. That's different. So I really wouldn't say that being the voice of a news reading service is acting. Or is it? If you were just sitting at your kitchen table reading the morning paper, remember those? And let's say you were reading it aloud. You probably wouldn't read it the same way there as you would if you were reading it to somebody else. You'd be like, uh, today this guy did this, and that guy did this, and they're going to blow up that thing, okay? But if you were reading it for somebody else to understand and listen to and be engaged with, you would read it, and today this guy did this, that guy did that, and these people blew that up. Now, that's primarily modulation but it's also acting because you're not acting like you would normally act if you were by yourself. So again, it's a matter of degree. Now as a voice actor and a voiceover guy and a narrator, I bring different energy to every read I do given context. That's acting. That's changing who you normally are and presenting somebody else. Now, again, is it Master Thespian? Thank you. Acting. No, it's not in that circumstance. 
but it's not who I am in my day-to-day -day life. So there is some degree of acting involved. And to tie all this up, I'll just say two things. I get cranky when people say that voiceover artists aren't actors. We are, to one degree or another. People who think that voice work is not real acting have never been responsible for making a corporate presentation engaging. It sure as the hell is acting. And two, this is for anybody out there watching who's new or who is thinking about pursuing this. This is exactly the reason why actual acting classes at any level, any level, is extraordinarily beneficial to you. Because you might want to be a narrator, or you might want to be a hype guy, or wh whatever. Having acting skills, having acting practice, is extraordinarily valuable. Because no matter what, you're going to be called on to act. And if you don't have that in you, you're just going to be Mr. Monotone or Ms. Monotone. Those people don't get paid. I'm pretty sure you want to get paid. So consider it. Look into repertory and community theaters, small acting classes. I mean it. Any acting class you take is going to pay you back, even the free ones. You're an actor. Act like one. If you found this helpful, please do me a favor and do the like, click, subscribe, bell dance down below. And come and join us on our Bootcamp Discord server. The link's also below. And until next time, people, I'm Andrew Scott, and you've been at Bootcamp. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.